Hello, yogi friends. I'm just going to show you two really great things that you can do to bolster. You don't necessarily need a bolster, but they sure are convenient. And maybe they could be decorative in your place as well. You can see how beautiful this one is. We're going to do a supported swan and also a supported twist that really, really targets the low back and the glutes and all those problem areas. We can't tell which one is giving us a backache but we sure know we have a backache. So this is how we're going to start. Now, if you're not warmed up, then you're going to go into this very gently. If you decide to do this in the morning, I really would suggest some cat cows before you try this. Otherwise, in later on in the day when you've walked around and done all your activities, you probably are warm enough to just go into this supported swan. I like to put my bolster about halfway along or a third down. You can use a block as well, but the bolster is more forgiving. You're going to take your hands in the front, and if you know down dog, and it doesn't have to be your perfect down dog because that's not the point. It's just getting ready. You're going to bring your right knee into your chest. And just like a hurdler, I'm sure you've all done it in high school or in elementary where you've learned how to hurdle over something. You're going to hurdle over your bolster. You're going to put the side of your right thigh on the bolster. That actually already feels good. Now, you notice I've flexed my foot and spread my toes and pulled the toes back because I really want my knee to not be involved in twisting. Because knees don't twist, they only go 90 degrees. I want all the attention into my IT band, into my butt. It doesn't matter if you know the names of those things as long as you can feel it. I'm going to check my back leg and make sure that it is the left leg is coming right out of the left hip. And the easiest way, if you don't have this um, feeling, is to look back and make sure it's there. And if your big toe is tucked under, then for sure you'll know that you're stable. Now for some of you, you're already feeling this. And uh, if you're feeling it intensely, you're probably falling over to the right. And what you want to try to do is rotate this left hip bone towards that bolster. And as soon as you do it, You'll know why. You'll be saying hello to your IT band on your right side. And you're going to come down and you're going to learn how to breathe through this. You don't want all the breath to be at your, in your chest. You actually want to see if you can push breath to the base of your pelvis and imagine that you're blowing up the space for your poor old right hip. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like or and, and I always like to use music and it gives me an idea that of what three minutes is. Most pieces of music are three to four to five minutes and you would hang on to this pose for that period of time. Now getting out of it, we want to preserve our knee. We don't want to hurt it. So you're going to lift, press the earth away with your arms and lift the back knee. And I like to inchworm my right foot over to the left, the knee is bent into my chest, and then I'm just going to come back onto my knees and then just take a moment to move back. Child's pose, whatever works for you, child's pose, your knees can be wide. Child's pose is not available to you, then don't do it. Bring your hands, available to most people, but if your knees are a problem, then of course it isn't. Hands in front, tuck toes, down dog again, doesn't have to be a beautiful down dog. Bring your left knee into your chest, flex that left foot, hurdle your left leg over. That's going to take a little core work and put the outside of your left thigh onto the bolster. Oh, that side is really kind of special today. Spread your left toes. Now check out that right leg and look back and then spread the right toes and push the right heel back so that you're going to have plenty of space and then you can drop your right knee if you know that that right leg is going to remain straight you could always put the shoelace side of your foot on the floor so those of you who suffer from a little cramps on your feet you you can kind of modify that and then you come down 
and you spend a moment breathing. <laughs> so we have a more flexible side, we have a stronger side. It's not, it's not our legs' fault, so don't be all judgy on your poor old legs. They're doing their best to support you. <sighs> and it doesn't matter how much yoga you do, or any of these things, you'll always approach the mat out of balance, not symmetrical. <sighs> so just feeling this side, and again, flexing the left foot, and making sure that you're not just leaning over to the left so that you can avoid what's happening in your left hip. Instead, roll that right hip forward towards the bolster and you're just going to feel all that fascia, beautiful, beautiful stuff that is providing space for the top of your femur going into your hip socket. Take your hands right underneath, bend your elbows so your arms are flexing. Tuck the back toes under, straighten the back leg. Now push the earth away and then inch worm your left foot around to the right. Bring your knee into your chest. Bring your knees onto the floor. They can be wide. It really feels good if they're wide and the big toes are tucked. Not tucked, but touching. And you can take your bolster, and this is really a nice way to reinforce the space that we've just done in a supported swan. And you can put your side of your face on your bolster, the right side or the left. Now the next thing we're going to do is kind of a this really very fun twist. So you're going to sit on your the right side, the right side of your buttocks. And you're, I'm going to show it with the bolster going forward. And I'm simply going to try to bring, you're going to feel this. Oh, this feels so good. Your chest towards the bolster with your knees going to the left. And you can, if you've got the flexibility, you can look to the left. And this is just a reclining, beautiful reclining, relaxing twist. And you can see that the twist is definitely targeting the areas it should be, and you're just letting gravity do the work. Because if this is one that you're enjoying, then stay stay here for a little while. Don't don't go to the next side because I'm pretty sure you'll know how to get to the next side on your own. So simply moving the knees over to the right. Oh, I can hardly wait for this side actually. Oh, and you tuck in that bolster. Oh, and look to the left if that's in your practice. You call it practice for a reason. And every time you come, it's a different sensation. It's never perfect. Hmm. So stay here for as long as you'd like and. Of course, you can repeat these simple little, little um, bolster moves for your low back every time you feel that it's starting to get stiff and every time you just feel like it. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you, the rest of your day is wonderful. Namaste.